It's been awesome. We're not we're not finished yet. I don't know if we'll ever be finished, but uh, that's actually kind of the fun of it to me is uh, building and changing it and just making it work for us. And uh, we've got plenty of things we want to do to it and add to it, and we have plenty of things we've done to it since our last update. And today I'm going to show you some of those. Uh, but one year ago, we uh, my my whole family actually went down to the place we bought it. It was about an hour away, hour and a half. We hooked to it with my truck. We barely made it out of the driveway because there was no extension for the gooseneck. Um, I don't know how we didn't hit the cab. I, it just blows my mind now to think about that. Uh, but anyway, we made it home and we got to work and we found tons of leaks and we found um, a lot of work ahead of us, but we've made it happen. Like I said, we're not done yet. And again, I don't know if we'll ever be, but I hope you guys have enjoyed watching the build. And if you haven't seen the build, if this is your first time watching, please be sure to check out our other videos and subscribe to the channel. We hope we've shared some ideas. We hope that you guys have enjoyed watching. I'm going to show you a few things we've done since the last time we updated you. And I hope you guys have a great 4th of July. It's American Day. This what? It's American Day. <laughs> Happy American Day. Happy American Day. <laughs> so since our last update, I did a little more work to our Murphy bed, made it a little better. And I will uh, show you a little bit of that here in these clips. Working on the bed today, I took my Murphy bed down and I want to make some adjustments to it. Um, I don't know if I'm way too heavy or if uh, the memory foam mattress isn't getting enough support, but when I sleep on it, the middle just sags and I end up sleeping in a hole. So I'm just trying to uh, trying a few things with things I have around here. If it doesn't work out, I'm going to end up making a steel frame for it, which will be heavy and I don't really want to do, but uh, I think it'll, it'll hold me a little better. So anyway, this is what I'm working with. This is the bed's flipped over upside down right now. And we've got these uh, one by twos as supports, and obviously they're very flexible, which is, you know, that was fine. I thought that would make it nice and soft, and it does, just a little too soft. So I'm going to take these one by twos, and maybe put some pocket screws here to try to screw into these. I don't know if that's actually going to work. It may split that. We'll see. And then just notch around all of these pieces here, and this support. Is going to sit inside of this support and hopefully with these sitting vertical that'll give it a little more um, make it a little more firm and yeah we'll see I got the three supports in all notched I glued them and put a nail in there to try to hold everything together so I guess I'll put the top back on or the bottom back on and yeah, hopefully that'll help it have a little more support. Okay, the bed's up on the uh, new mounts and I added another rubber 
strap, whatever it is, rubber connector holder thing on each side. So that's nice. I think that's going to make me feel a little better about it. And here's my two inch tubing underneath holding it. And now, oh, yes. Okay. So now the bed sits up and down, straight up and down instead of uh, at an angle like before. Um, and with the supports in the center, it sure feels a lot better when I lay down on it. I haven't slept on, on it overnight, but hopefully soon. We put our trim up. None of this is finished yet, by the way. Um, we're going to paint it. It's going to be painted white. We're going to put some more trim up here on the ceiling, paint all this. But we've got the trim up all the way down. I'd really like to add a backsplash here. I'm just not really sure what we'd put up there. If you uh, have any ideas, throw them down in the comments and let us know. We have the steps which were completed in one other video. And now we have this. Is this something Paige did for us that I absolutely love? And their room has just really turned out to be awesome. They've made it their own, and it's uh, just a lot of fun to see them enjoying everything. So these are uh, Paige's covers that she painted for the storage. One for everyone, actually two for Paige. So this is Harper's with the rainbow. That's Alex's, the uh, desert scene. And these two are Paige's. She did an amazing job with that. I have a battery monitor here. Let me move this basket. So this battery monitor obviously is not mounted in the right spot. Or not mounted where I'm going to put it. But uh, anyway, I'll put it here just for ease of use. And it's, uh, it's in the works. We have our chalkboard wall. The kids absolutely love drawing on that. So we have two 30 amp hour lithium ion phosphate batteries. These are, uh, I keep saying they're temporary, but it doesn't look like that's the case. <laughs> We've added a 1500 watt inverter and that inverter is probably overkill for just running a refrigerator uh, but that's all we use it for at the moment but it works really well uh, we've been unplugged for about let's say a maximum of about three or four hours and had no issues with the battery it's still uh was reading just under 13 volts when we got to the campsite. So in order to use the uh, inverter and be safe, I added this uh, automatic transfer switch. And this came with the trailer from the factory. This um, makes it so when I plug into shore power, if I have the inverter on, it, it switches automatically to shore power. It doesn't burn anything up. Doesn't cause any, cause any issues. Um, it's awesome. I love it. So that's been nice. All this, in my mind, is a temporary fix because I'd really like to build a, a nice large battery bank, get a bigger inverter, have an all-in-one type unit, and add solar to the whole mix. But for right now, this is what we got, and it works well. So one uh. One item we added out of necessity, we went on a trip to the lake and uh, we realized we really need an outdoor shower to wash our feet off. This is running by the way, very quietly. So anyway, I uh, added this outdoor shower. Uh oh, it's kicking up as I uh, talked about how quiet it is. It's still quiet though. That plugs in. 
have the nozzle here. You have uh, you can have hot water. You can have cold water. It is uh, really nice, really convenient. Very nice when you have kids who have muddy feet. That has been well worth it. And I guess last but not least, and I've got a more detailed video coming out on this thing. We added a 16-inch uh, extension to our hitch. Um, <laughs> we had a bit of an incident with our B&W hitch. Uh, it was a 10-inch extension, and I was backing down a hill. Maybe I was up a hill. I don't know. I was backing down a hill, but the truck went up on a hill. I turned too sharp, and we hit the cab. Uh, that was a devastating trip, a long trip, and not a very good weekend at the beginning. It ended up being a lot of fun, though. So anyway, I've got a more detailed video coming out, hopefully soon, if I can get the time. So one thing I'm working on right now is getting uh, all this reflective, all the reflective decals off the side. This uh, I did about... I don't know, eight or nine months ago, and I've, it's just been that way. So I've been working on the others. Got a lot to do. This The uh, adhesive is the hardest part to get off. I've got a side marker that I need to replace. It just popped off. The screw uh, rusted loose, rusted, and came apart. And then I have uh, our trim. This I did uh, probably the same time, about eight or nine months ago. It looks really nice. And then... I felt like this was needed. I love this thing. And it's uh, it's black, but it's reflective. So at night, you can shine a light on it. And uh, yeah, it looks white or silver or whatever. Really cool. I'm going to do the same to the other side. So right now, it still has the uh, factory sticker on it. And all of the reflective tape, which you can see it's coming all off. And it looks terrible. So I'll be taking all that off. and. That's a lot of work, but I think it's going to look great. Those are our latest updates. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Um, we have a trip coming up and I'm looking forward to that and I'm looking forward to filming a lot. Hopefully we can get it edited in a decent amount of time. Until next time, I appreciate you guys watching and... Be sure to subscribe. Thanks.